the Hey Jocelyn chase is next. And this is three miles and three furlongs. It's a grade one. It's a sort of a early French gold cup. The top one is Bed of a Marish for David Robertson, Crackled Alex Cherry, Dawn of the Warrior, Joshua Sutherland, Edmund John Morgan, Insatiable Forest for Craig Allen, Pline Lukey Martinigam, Silver Dollar City, Leon Van Rensburg, Square DJ for David Robertson, Twisted Road, Leon Van Rensburg, Belmore Stone, Graham Clutterbuck, Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson, Crimson Flowers, John Morgan, Elusive Enchantment, Jim Murray, Green Tea, David Hooley and Xenophobia for Jim Murray as well. So 15 then. Potential gold cup horses in this, I would say. Oh, here they go. The flatter track of Oi Toy, three mile, three furlong, three miles two at Cheltenham. Not that much difference, I wouldn't have thought, as they get to the first. And over it they all go with Belmore Stone in the lead by a length. And I have a feeling that Mr. Clutterbuck quite fancies this one. Oh, he's not going to fancy it if he jumps like that. And it went straight through the top of that. It's uh, done well to stay on its feet, and it's done even better to remain in the lead. So Belmore Stone then, as they take this turn, this quirky track where the inside is the outside, then the outside becomes the inside. At least we don't have the invisible fences anymore that we had when I first started. I remember that was probably one of my, what, one of my third week, wouldn't it? This is week three, and I suddenly presented me all the horses jumping an invisible fence as soon as the race started. So over the third they go. And I really don't know how I wanted to keep straight face for the rest of that race. I kept imagining it wasn't going to happen all over again, but it didn't. As I get over the next, although it did happen pretty much throughout SO6, and we got used to it after that first year. But it's a blip that's gone in SO7. The fences are all visible. Belmore Stone is in the lead from Crackled in second, and the grey is on the inside. One of Jim Murray's horses, the grey, I think, that one is xenophobia. I can't quite see the numbers, they're a bit too small, but they get over the water and it's Belmore Stone is clearing the lead. That is the one thing I would like to be able to see if we could adjust the colours so that's you've got second strings wearing a different colour cap on. It's probably impossible, but somebody I'm sure will let me know why we can't do it. Anyway, Belmore Stone is in the lead. He crackled in second. Dawn of the Warrior is third, Xenophobia is after that one. Then comes Cape of Pears and Elusive Enchantment, Crimson Flowers. Is after that looking towards the back. Green tea, just the back marker as they take number seven. Which they've all got to the other side of, they're all jumping nicely. Apart from that one mistake by Belmore Stone early on. Nothing else has been sending out too many distress signals. John Morgan's got two in this, neither of which are front runners. And Belmore Stone is bowling along in the lead. And as usual, four or five lengths clear of the rest of them. With Crackled in second, and then Dawn of the Warrior, Cape of Pears is next, and Crimson Flowers, they take number nine, which they're all safely over again, and Better Bob Irish is now just the back marker. As Belmore Stone takes them to this ditch. All over that one as well. It's just about two miles left of the race now, and Belmore Stone is the in the lead. As so he gets over number 11, they get all over it nicely. And he crackled second, Crimson Flowers third, and then Cape of Pears, and Dawn of the Warriors after that one. And a more stone jump that one nicely, with a slow jump on Crimson Flowers, but nothing to be too alarmed about, as they're now going to swing left handed. Sharp turn this. And Belmore Stone is in the lead. We're on Cape of Pears in second. As they get to the next. Also, if you have that with Pline Lukey and the back marker, Pline Lukey back for his third season. Belmore Stone in the lead. Oh, nicely over that one. The order's pretty much as you were as they come up past the stand then. And then they'll swing out for one more circuit of the Oi Toy track. And Belmore Stone will race past that winning post of the lead as we see them from the top. Right view of the race course there. And you can see the figure of eight and everything as they get over the water jump. 
and over that one they go and now they'll swing out left handed for this next circuit and Belmore Stone is six lengths clear of the remainder so it's Belmore Stone in the lead there from Elusive and Chapman in second Cape of Pears is third then Dawn of the Warrior four in Station War is five Crackle is six and Crimson Flowers is seven as they get over number 16 towards the back green tee has just been relegated to the back spot again but the Fewer are pretty tightly bunched with the exception of this obligatory five length leader and that's Belmore Stone and Belmore Stone it is who's led all the way so far from elusive and Chapman in second coming down to the next skips over that one they all get over it nicely as well plying Lukey back to the back marker spot again but Belmore Stone continues to lead elusive and Chapman second Silver Dollar City is now creeping into it in third Crackle is still there for then Dawn of the Warrior and Cape of Pears as they come over number 18 and then very very quickly over number 19 which they all get over all still standing all on their feet then it's Belmore Stone in the lead from elusive and Chapman then in comes Dawn of the Warrior and Cape of Pears and then Crackled Insatiable Forest is a wide open race this one with Belmore Stone continuing to lead but only by a length to Elusive Enchantment for Jim Murray in second over that big ditch they go good jump on the outside there by Dawn of the Warrior has seen that one now come through to challenge challenging for the lead Dawn of the Warrior and Belmore Stone crackled coming through to challenge now as well as they take that Grand National Star fence and they're all over that one nicely with Plyne Lukey tailing off it's Dawn of the Warrior has gone on Belmore Stone gives way it's Dawn of the Warrior and crackled Dawn of the Warrior and crackled from Insatiable Forest now Silver Dollar City on the outside is fourth over the third last they go and it's Dawn of the Warrior. Dawn of the Warrior on the outside of Crackle. Crackle on the inside looking strong. Running on in third. Silver Dollar City then Insatiable Forest. Elusive Enchantment is trying to get back into it again. Swinging around the outside. Twisted Road. Xenophobia is still there as well but they're swinging into the straight. They've got just two to jump and Crackle has gone for home. Crackle's kicked on. Crackle's kicked on by three. Crackle's kicked on by four. It's Crackle coming to the second last. Gets over. He gets away from it well. Dawn of the Warrior is second. Then comes Elusive Enchantment now running on the third also trying to get back in with his Belmore Stone one more to jump and it's Crackle who comes up to it looking like he's only got to jump it he gets over it slow jump by the horse in second Dawn of the Warrior and I can't see anything getting into this leader in the final furlong but he's tiring it's Crackle in the lead he's getting tired he's being chased by Dawn of the Warrior and Silver Dollar City Cape of Pears is also running on well but it's still Crackle Crackle is in the lead he's going to be another one are they going to catch him Crackle needs the line Crackle's in the lead Crackle takes it from Silver Dollar City and then Dawn of the Warrior in Cape of Bears, Xenophobia run on well, Plyne Lukey was last and Alex Cherry has got himself a good one there, he's crackled as it took the race really on the home turn and they didn't quite wear it down looks like it'll get up the Cheltenham Hill that one and could be an interesting Season for Alex Cherry with well, that one. I mean, he had a good winner yesterday as well, was it Monday? I mean, he had one winner this week that won by a streak. Anyway, crackled for Alex Cherry takes it. Silver Dollar City for Leon Van Rensburg was second. Dawn of the Warrior, Joshua Sutherland third. Cape of Pears for Darren Thompson fourth. And Belmore Stone for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. Monsieur Hay Shosland Chase and a grade one winner for Alex Cherry. And the biggest problem he's got now is he's got a handicap in himself. <laughs>